Hello everyone and welcome to questions and answers based on the course of computational finance. Today we have question number 18 that is based on materials discussed in lecture number 8. The question of today is what are the benefits of fast Fourier transform compared to brute force integration? Here of course we are very much concentrated on pricing of derivatives so by FFT the question uh, means uh, Fourier transforms for pricing of options so for example method based on a karma Dan's approach or for example of the cost of the cost method what are the benefits do we actually always need those methods to price options uh, we know from this course that the the big the most important element of uh, fast Fourier transformations uh, for pricing is that they are very fast and they are not only fast for pricing individual uh, option for a given strike but they are allowed us to price multiple strikes at the same time that happens by in means of some matrix manipulation mani uh, manipulations or uh, interpolations in calibration for example in uh, once we want to apply a model in reality we always need to calculate options for multiple strikes so therefore uh, calculations of those uh, using those techniques is very beneficial uh, however um, if we have analytical pricing formula then of course we don't need uh, numerical methods. We don't need cost method or karma dance method to calculate option prices. We would just evaluate options analytically. And that's, of course, the straightforward approach. Uh, in, uh, in, in reality, however, we have very few models for which we know option prices analytically. Uh, it's typically difficult because if we deal with models like Heston model or Sabre model and so on, we don't even have maybe characteristic function if model does it does not belong to the affine class of processes. So the class of models for which we know analytically the pricing formula is very limited. Uh, therefore, the, let's say the next level, once we don't we don't have a pricing formula, next level is to find characteristic function and then we can apply Fourier transformations. But of course, this class of models for which we have characteristic function is also very limited. We, in practice, uh, we experience cases where uh, models, even if they are fine, they are not flexible enough in order to calibrate to market data. However, in this particular question, we ask what if we actually do we actually need to calculate those option prices? So, as mentioned, uh, we only calculate using fast Fourier transformation if we don't have an explicit solution. So this is very important. This is the key element. If you don't have explicit solution, but you have characteristic function, then we would go for method uh, like a Fourier based methods for calculations. If we have a, a here consider a very simple case where we have constant interest rates, then we know that the pricing equation uh, using the Feynman Katz is uh, essentially only the expectation of the future payoff, which is discounted to today. And we can also write it in the integral form. Uh, writing here in the integral form is maybe a little bit more uh, beneficial because we can see uh, explicitly the density of the stock at the maturity time t. Therefore, if we would have the stock, this density, given explicitly. So I'm not talking about the case where we have explicitly option price, but we have explicitly given uh, the density. Then, of course, we can just simply integrate uh, this, let's perform brute force integration to get this price. Of course, in the case where we would like to uh, calculate it for multiple strikes, that becomes a troublesome because this integral will need to be evaluated for every individual strike k. So that's kind of uh, uh, problematic. Also, uh, uh, as uh, indicated here, computation of this density it often requires multiple integrations. So if we go back a little bit here, let me go here. So um, the density of a, of a stock, so if we have density of ST for a given X, we know that this can be calculated using uh, Fourier transformations. So we have inverse Fourier, so here we have an E minus I U X F. This will be a sorry characteristic function. Characteristic function of U D U. And here U it is. Right. So basically means that if we are able, we want to calculate this integral, this means that we have to calculate for multiple X's. So it's a whole domain of X from zero to infinity. This means that for every x, we have to calculate this numerical integral. You see that for every x, which is here, we need to calculate integral over the Fourier domain. 
the Fourier space here. So this means that it will be extremely expensive if you would like to calculate density using brute force integration using the characteristic function. So you see that if we have characteristic function and I just want to do without Fourier transformations, I would like to calculate this integral uh, numerically without any advanced methods, then this becomes very, very expensive because in order to calculate this integral here, it could be that first I will let's make some discretization from zero, let's say, to some point, let's call it S star, we will have some discretization points. Let's, let's call it even 100 points here. Then for each of those points, I need to calculate this integral. So we have hundreds of integrals in order to get, and actually then we have to calculate still one integral here. So it's 101 integrals. That is extremely expensive, as you can imagine. Uh, this will be very difficult to, uh, to implement in reality once we are dealing with uh, multiple strikes, once we want to calibrate the model. Uh, the bottom line in uh, using of Fourier transformations is that we would like to use those models, or those models are used preferably for pricing in means of calibration of the model. So in the market, we would like to price, let's say, exotic derivative. That For that reason, we will not use a Fourier transformations. However, if you would like to price exotic with a given model, we need to find optimal parameters. And those parameters can be obtained by calibration of the model to plain vanilla options, so European calls and puts. For that reason, we need to have method that allows us to calculate option prices for multiple strikes and does it very efficiently. If we get transformation, we would get those option prices for multiple strikes in one go. In this case, it will be multiple integrations. This will be extremely, extremely slow. Uh, likely, maybe Monte Carlo would be more efficient than this approach if we just go with brute force. Because imagine that Okay, in this case, maybe it's not so terrible because you see, if I rec recover here this density using this uh, integration, so for hundreds, hundreds of in, uh, points in the S, in the X domain, I calculate those integrals, then I can keep those to, and I can vary strikes. So then we have, uh, this doesn't explode so much. However, you cannot beat that using a fast Fourier transformation, which only, let's say, it calculates this two integrals, so this integral and this integral in one go. And that is extremely, extremely beneficial. So this is basically the, the approach that you should have uh, for this type of question. You should attack it from the perspective of the objectives of your model, why you actually need this type of pricing technique, and then look into the details, what type of integrations takes place. And if you look from this integral form, it's very clear that you need this density and this density is related good to characteristic function. And then you have to recover this density from the characteristic function. And that is very, very expensive numerically if you would like to do it for every argument, argument X. So I think that will be it. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.